Let's turn to breaking news now. I thought my textbooks were expensive? Get a load of this. A recent donation made to Princeton University of a book collection worth $300 million, and it's housed right in here. Anger and disbelief at a Jersey Shore town hall meeting after a critique from Governor Chris Christie. The walk to your car can be painful enough in these conditions, but if you're not careful, your vehicle could become a casualty of the cold. So let your car warm up 10 minutes before leaving. We're tracking sub-zero temperatures. I'm talking dangerous cold with snow on the way. When I see crowns and gowns, I'm immediately taken back to my year as Miss New Jersey. But for the Disney stores selling these, they're seeing green. And for the price of $12.95, if the crown fits. You're not going to believe this. The woman accused of injecting silicone into the butts of other women now wants to show off her handiwork in front of a jury. They've rolled out the red carpet for us here at Princeton University's Oscar viewing party. Oh my gosh, is that? Uh, come on. Mr. DiCaprio, how does it feel to have never won an Oscar before? No comment. Some unsettling statistics. More than half of our area's missing person cases are unsolved. Turns out everyone here at Frisk Campus Center at Princeton was at risk after health officials tell me a student infected with measles visited this building and sat in one of these chairs. It's not me, it's you. Or at least that's what the Baltimore Ravens said when they officially ended their relationship with Ray Rice. The devastation is humbling. I would show you the scene, but police are keeping us at a safe distance. What we do have is amateur footage of the townhome moments after it exploded. It only took me 20 minutes to get ready this morning, and that's almost as big of a lie as the one told by that glorified varmint in Punxsutawney, Pennsylvania. It only takes a few seconds to feel the cold's brutal bite on any exposed skin. The middle school and high school in Mullica Hill are on lockdown. It's so warm right now, I'm not even wearing a coat. But check this out. This massive snow pile is a reminder of yesterday's blizzard. Rick Maxey is a former Marine. He's been stationed in Qatar for months now for the National Guard and he wasn't expected home with his family for Christmas. Are you kidding me? That was the reaction from Sixers fans today after a blockbuster trade that many are calling mind-blowing.